Firstly, a big thank you to MSI for making it possible for Tim and myself to attend Computex 2019. Please check out their latest AMD X570 motherboards made for gamers and creators via the link in the video description. Also, a thank you to Corsair for their support. Please check all their exciting products out via the link in the video description. Welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. We're here at Computex 2019. I've just been to the NVIDIA event. So like AMD this morning, NVIDIA hosted an event in the afternoon. And well, gotta say, not too much was shown off at the event. The main thing that you guys will be interested in was the super teaser that they posted on the NVIDIA GeForce Twitter feed. I think it's on YouTube as well. I think a lot of people at the event were expecting NVIDIA to detail what super meant. But unfortunately, no mention of Super at Computex whatsoever. In fact, we were heard at the event that that is primarily going to be an E3 reveal. So if you're expecting that teaser to be resolved here at Computex like we were, um, yeah, unfortunately, the event, which wasn't live streamed, uh, yeah, really didn't cover Super at all. And you'll have to wait for E3 for more details on what that brings. Unfortunately, also didn't manage to get any, any information on what Super actually meant either. So yeah, still up in the air on that one, unfortunately. All right, so moving into the things that NVIDIA did actually announce at their event. And we'll start with G-Sync, I think, because for me, at least being a monitor sort of guy, that was probably the most interesting stuff. So Firstly, the 3440 by 1440 G-Sync Ultimate display, so the HDR ones with, I believe, 200 hertz refresh rates. Uh, I did ask about whether they're still 200 hertz and got a bit of a vague response on that one, so we'll have to find out more on the show floor. But those monitors are now ready, so the models from ASUS, Acer, and AOC uh, should all be coming out very shortly. They were announced more than a year ago, so it has been quite some time since we first saw these products but NVIDIA tells us that those are ready to go. More exciting than that, uh, mini LED G-Sync Ultimate monitors. So we've got two models coming out. One of them is the ASUS PG27UQX that has a 576 zone backlight made up of 2,304 LED lights. So much more impressive than the 384 zone LED backlight for the original PG27UQ. There's also an Acer model coming out. Both of these should be on the show floor, so hopefully we'll get some more information on that when the show floor opens tomorrow. But for now, mini LED G-Sync HDR monitors, so that's really taking the G-Sync HDR thing up another notch. And finally on the monitors, 4K 120Hz laptop displays, which was a bit of a surprise. I was talking to Jared from Jared's Tech. You might know him. Go subscribe. He makes some really high-quality laptop videos. But we were both a bit surprised about the 4K 120Hz on laptops because we don't find 4K displays on laptops to be too useful, they tend to be very small. The GPUs, they really can't run a 4K resolution very well and won't really benefit from the high resolution. But I suspect it might be more of a creative thing on that one. We also have new RTX games. The first one is Quake 2. Uh, you might have seen, I think it was the fan mod that some guy made uh, and they brought ray tracing into Quake 2. Well, that's now being turned into an official game. Uh, it'll be made free on June 6. You'll be able to get some single player levels for free, I think, and then uh, the full game will be available ray traced for owners who you know, already own Quake 2 on the same day as well. They'll be available on Steam, and that is a partnership with Bethesda who makes that game. The other game, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood, that has now got RTX functionality in it as well as adaptive rate shading. That's coming out on July 26. So again, more RTX games, and as well, buyers will get that game Buyers of NVIDIA GPUs, I should say, from the RTX 2060 through to the RTX 2080 Ti will get that game for free when you make a purchase starting tomorrow or one of the days. You'll see it on the screen now. I've got some B-roll of that that will uh, give you all that information. The final thing that NVIDIA showed at the event was a whole bunch of creator-related stuff falling under their new NVIDIA Studio brand. Now, to be honest, probably not the most exciting thing for you guys who are mostly gamers and interested in the GeForce brands. Didn't really interest me too much either, but there were lots of demos there. Some of them were kind of interesting, so maybe we'll throw up some B-roll of that. But the main thing here is there will be 17 new NVIDIA Studio laptops launching here at Computex from all the major brands, you know, your Aces, your Asus, 
MSI, Gigabyte, all those companies. I think Razer as well. Uh, they have new laptops starting at sixteen hundred US dollars. The key feature there up to Quadro RTX five thousand, Quadro RTX five thousand GPUs. Uh, the key thing here that really brings to the laptop form factor for the first time is a sixteen gigabyte frame buffer. So with the RTX GPUs like your twenty eighties, previously up to eight gig, but for creators who need that extra frame buffer, you will get up to sixteen gig with those new Quadro cards. You also will expect things like 32 gig of RAM, you know, Intel Core i9 CPUs, the eight core models, also the six core Core i7s will be all throughout these creator range. Slim and light models, that was one of the, the main features that NVIDIA was going through as my screen goes black here. Um, yeah, so lots of slim and light designs that really are meant for creators working on things like Photoshop, on Premiere, on 3D modeling. All of that was discussed and NVIDIA made a big deal about how much faster their new Quadro laptops with the Intel CPUs are compared to the MacBook Pro, which uses AMD graphics. Not that they mentioned AMD at the show, but that was kind of the comparison they were making there. NVIDIA Studio drivers as well, that will be coming as sort of, I think they said a quarterly release. So the aim there is that you get really stable drivers that are focused on optimizing, you know, for your creator apps like your Photoshop's, your Premiere's I was just talking about before, rather than relying on the gaming drivers that tend not to be, not play as nicely with some of those creator apps. So I think NVIDIA has had creator drivers for a little while now, but they will be uh, folding into this new studio brand. So... Those are really all the things that NVIDIA showed off at their Computex 2019 keynote. Nothing on, on Super, as I mentioned earlier, that will be coming in e at E3. A few things on G-Sync, a few things on RTX games and all that creative stuff. So yeah, probably not as exciting as the AMD content that Steve covered earlier today. Certainly a lot more was talked about at that keynote, but similar to I guess last year where NVIDIA doesn't really use Computex as one of their main sort of presentations for new products. They tend to stick to launching GPUs and other products at their own events. So it wasn't too surprising that they sort of kept a lot of that information out and we'll see that later in the year. So that's really it for this video. Thanks to our major sponsors, MSI and Corsair, who managed to bring us over for Computex 2019. We'll be hitting the show floor tomorrow where you'll start to see everything there. So plenty of stuff coming up throughout this week on Computex. Don't forget to subscribe to catch all that content. Consider supporting us on Patreon and I'll catch you in the next one.